welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Anthony Joshua is back, and look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. Anthony Joshua, no mosses, Otto Waleen, after five rounds, the man went to the corner and would not return. Anthony Joshua dominated the entirety of the fight, won every single round, stopped this man, broke his nose. I mean, this was truly impressive from Anthony Joshua. He boxed well, he broke him down, and ultimately stopped him. He did not make the same tentative mistakes that he's been making. Anthony Joshua has looked fantastic with Ben Davidson. I think he should stay with him instead of returning with Derek James. I think this makes all the sense in the world. It looks like the Anthony Joshua of old is back. Anthony Joshua is a guy who's always been willing to fight the best. This guy, I mean, look at his resume. The guy has, you know, Andy Ruiz Jr. He has Otto Waleen. He has Joseph Parker. I mean, the list goes on and on. Klitschko, Anthony Joshua is a fearless fighter. The guy's always willing to fight everybody. Tried to make the fight with Deontay Wilder. Tried to make the fight with Tyson Fury. Made multiple fights with Usyk. So you see Anthony Joshua has the nuts to fight anybody. And that's why I respect him. Anthony Joshua looked like he's back. And that's great for boxing because he's fearless. With this win, he became the number two ranked IBF Contender, uh, right behind number one, which is Philip Hergovich. So these guys will fight for the IBF world title if Fury Usyk vacate after they fight. We don't know what's next for Anthony Joshua, but Anthony Joshua is back, and every heavyweight in the division should be concerned. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.